Hi guys again, uh, just another quick review. Uh, this is on, I got a question, uh, do I use hawks and what type of hawk do I use? This is the, this is the hawk I use. This is actually the cold steel spike hawk, believe it or not. But for throwing and for different reasons, the spike was on the back of it. I actually took that off, straight off. I still left enough, enough on the end for, uh, to use for hammering stuff. But I found it a lot safer because when you actually angle back to a throw, you have the chance of spiking yourself. <laughs> That's one of the main reasons. Also, uh, what I've done with this is when you come from the factory, you've actually got a screw pin pinned into the wood on the side of this. Normally, I just take this out straight away. The reason being, uh, especially if you're doing any throwing with the hawks, is that if you hit the base, if you're too close or too far away, or you hit the base and you're not hitting on the head or you're smashing the top. It actually chews into the wood. This is American hickory. And what actually happens is it actually splits so you don't get too long out of them. So what I normally do is I take the, the screw pin out of it. So if you actually throw it and it hits on the back, that's all that actually happens and it's only a matter of turning it over, passing it back in, and there you go. Um, I normally bring this out wherever I go. I don't necessarily throw it if I'm, if I'm out the uh, wood camping anywhere into live trees. I don't believe in kind of damaging the trees just for the sake of a bit of sport. So I do a lot of the throwing, either uh, in the back garden here, or uh, one of the lads has a, a target range set up. He's about 11 acres out of his place, and we normally go for it out there as well. Um, we, uh, there's a few of us in Ireland that do it. Knife uh, and tomahawk throwing. Um, we'll cover that maybe on a, another video. But that's basically the one I use. I think it's about 22, which will enter the hickory handle overall. Um, The, the, the set weight on a, on a spy cock is a little bit different now. It took a couple of inches of steel, it's probably dropped down in weight. Um, I have a couple of uh, trolls, do a little bit of video maybe, just to, to do some troll the, the hawk in the target board. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. But for, the answer is, it's actually a spy cock cut down. So similar to the, the cold steel the frontier hawk and the Norse hawk. Now, I know, I know the Norse hawk has a longer bill on the top. And a lot of throwers like using them, but for me, kind of as a utility hawk, I don't like them because she's uh, she's smooth, flat at the back, and uh, it's not really good for hitting anything. If, especially if the thing gets caught in a piece of wood, you can take another piece of wood and hammer it down. You can't do that on the north one; it'll end up split because it's fairly thin uh, across the back end of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, hope you enjoyed the throw.